All right, so here's the deal. We know that you have it on you. Why? So what we're going to... Oh, this is... What you want, what you want. Uh, we originally saw it driving around um, a known drug area, which really piqued our interest. We uh, blue lighted the vehicle. They did seem to stall, slow down. A lot of times their tactics is to kind of get a quick story together once they know that they're being pulled over. So I kind of knew up front to kind of expect that. Once I pulled the driver out, I began to talk to him, just kind of get a feel for uh, his story. While I was speaking to them, my partner will start talking to other people in the car. Um, just kind of getting their side of the story, getting their story, seeing what they're going to say. Where y'all headed? Um, we actually just came to pick them up. Uh, the car had broken down, and uh, so they called us for a ride. The, okay. the other ride fell through. When we initiated the traffic stop, um, we saw there was approximately four or five people in the vehicle, which raised their suspicion as being the back seat female kept turning her head around and looking at us, which is also something that's going to raise your suspicion. Um, Officer Cornelius informs the driver why they're being pulled over, and then it's my job to get stories. Um, I focused on the backseat passenger because to me it looked like he had a problem with opiate addiction, which is primarily heroin. So I got his story from him, why Officer Cornelius would handle the traffic stop, and get other stories from other people in the vehicle so we can later on play them off of each other. Uh, when we played all the stories off of everybody, we realized what they were saying wasn't making sense, where they were coming from, who they were talking to. So that built our suspicion to go ahead and call for the canine officer to come out and do an open air search around the vehicle. So we were pretty positive there's going to be an alert for narcotics at that vehicle. All right, this is what's going to happen. Um, just because of the area y'all are in, we always have a canine come out, just do a quick open air sweep. That's cool. Um, that's fine. So if there's anything in there he's going to learn, let me know now so we can we can work with you, be lenient. Canine showed up, dog immediately alerted on the vehicle um, to the point where she jumped through the window. And once we started searching, we started finding some baggies with residue, uh, also a needle in there. And from where we stopped, I knew in the back of my mind that there was going to be more in there, probably on someone because they didn't have time to, to uh, get rid of anything or use it all. Once they start realizing that we're not dumb and, and we've been doing this a little while, we kind of know how the game is played, they start realizing that, hey, I, I may need to say something or I'm gonna get in trouble. And in this case, the driver told us where it was because he, he had a new job he was about to start and he really didn't want to get in trouble for something that wasn't his. Well, you weren't completely honest with me here. We found syringes. Well, look. I know you're nervous. The, the people that we picked up, mm -hmm. they, 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 they were in the neighborhood. So that would be my guess. The other male? The other couple. The other couple. Yes, yeah, that's who we picked up. Yeah, based on uh, how the people were speaking in the vehicle, I mean, it's going to lead you to that person. And they're just gonna be like, listen, it's either time to come clean or we're going to take further action. So we approached her and basically laid out the scenario. Either you can give it up voluntarily, which we know you have it, or we'll go to a judge and then see if we get a warrant. At that time, she realized uh, the game was up, so she'd rather just go about her business and give it up voluntarily. There's enough to say that there was more people in that vehicle wanting heroin, but unfortunately, the law dictates if you're in possession of it and nobody else comes forward, the person in possession of the narcotics is going to take the ride for it. Their friends got very, very lucky that day that their friend took that for them. I mean, as a police, you really don't give up. It's not really in your job description. You got to keep going. If you believe something's in there, possibly narcotic, I mean, that could be the bad batch of heroin that kills somebody in that car that day. So it's not like we can give up if it's just giving us problems. We got to keep going until we can get that out of them.